All right, here's a diehard right here. Look at this, man. He's got gold pans and what is that? Oh, water. Classifiers. Classifiers. So what are you doing up here? Yep, looking for some gold. You finding any? Not yet. I wanted to run the dry washer, but just uh, too wet. Ground's way too wet still. It is wet. Yep. So you get off, you break the surface, and it's it's really moist soil. So we're just doing some test hole digging and panning it and see what we find. Yeah, for some it's color. okay. You could be on film too. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see you got a dry washer hog. in there. Frankie's the camera hog. Where's the uh, where's the wife at? She's back over here metal detecting. So oh, metal detecting. She's got the gold monster in the wash looking looking for spots. So well, if she if she digs right there, she'll find a treasure right there. Yeah, <laughs> she's already got a bunch <laughs> of that treasure. <laughs> well, all right, man. I know that it kind of sucks that I uh, couldn't do that push thing we wanted to, but. Uh, Another day. Yep, we'll it's, get it done. It's, it's a little too cold. Uh, uh, yeah, it is cold. The weather just hasn't changed yet enough. So. No, it's freezing cold. Yep. Well, okay, you're just going to fill a bunch of buckets and haul them back, I guess. So. Yep, yep. we'll run some buckets at home and, and see if uh, see what we're on here so we'll know where to come next time. Cool. Well, I, let me tell you about this weekend. We were supposed to do a push this weekend. Uh, people are going to come up here and we're going to rake down some of the ground and then we're going to go over with metal detectors and dry washers and and recover some gold. We're up here in uh, Lost Basin area by uh, south of Lake Mead, but uh, it's on a private mining claim and that's what we're going to do. But however, we haven't heard back from BLM yet. They're dragging their feet. Damn ass BLM. So we had to push it off a month, but a few people still wanted to show up anyways. So there's probably, I don't know, eight people here maybe, but they're metal detecting for most of them. I think some people are just filling up buckets, but we're going to walk around. We're going to talk to some of them and see what they're doing, and I'm going to swing a detector, and maybe I might get lucky and find some gold. But hey, we'll let you know what happens. want to thank you guys coming along and sharing on these adventures please uh like share and subscribe if you uh like the channel i sure hope you consider subscribing to the channel but anyways let's walk around and talk to some of these people and let's just see what we can find here's somebody over here that's cleaning up the desert You, oh, you cleaning up the desert? I found a great big, huge hunk of lead. Yeah? Yeah. Great big hunk of lead? Yeah. Whoa, yes. <laughs> and you're hunting with the gold monster. I am. Yeah, no gold though so far, huh? No gold yet. Well. Still searching. Still searching? Still searching. Still searching. Well. I guess sooner or later you'll find it. Yeah, I, I'm due because they say if you dig a hundred pieces of trash, then you find to find a piece of gold. That used to be true. It's up to three hundred oh, now. Oh, is it three hundred? Yeah. Well, then I'm only due two. Before <laughs> I was due like five. Uh oh. <laughs> well, good luck. Hope you find some gold. Thank you. Here, so we go. So, what's your name? Where are you from? Steve Blevins. We're from Wickenburg, Arizona. And and that's the other half over there detecting. That's huh? the other half over there detecting. This is a great claim, Jack. You got a nice setup out here. So, uh, well worth it. You guys that aren't members with Jack need to become members with Jack. Because <laughs> this is a great claim out here. Man, now I got to pay you again. <laughs> All right, so what'd you do? Take a break? Where's the, de where's the detector? Right there in front of the car. Lunchtime. Oh, it's lunchtime? Oh, I caught you at, at lunchtime. What's your name? Where are you from? Josh Cooper, uh, Monrovia, California. From California. All the way here from California. All right. Well, you find any gold yet? Not yet, but I've only been at it a few hours. Oh, well, maybe you'll get lucky and find something. All right, man. Hope you find something. I hope so, too. All right, look at that. Here's some diehards right here. Look at all these diehard people, man. These are what you call diehards. How you doing? Good, lots of trash. You finding trash? Yeah. Well, you know, 
we appreciate you cleaning the desert up, though. I know you guys that bring these gold monsters to help clean everything up. Yeah, no gold yet, huh? Nope. No gold? Just trash? How long you been detecting? Uh, an hour and a half, probably. Yeah, and just trash, huh? Yep. Cool. What's your name? Where are you from? Delbert Bostock, and I'm from Oak Creek, Colorado. Ooh. See, now, old Chuck, you know, wherever he goes, he's always got his, uh, his dog with him. Now, if that dog could just learn to sniff gold, it would be good. Hello, Jack. How you doing? Oh, still looking. Good looking? A couple pieces of lead. Yeah? Uh, that's where I found my first nugget over here. Right here, huh? Right in here. Nice. A little over, a little over a year ago. <laughs> but you're hunting with the 6,000. Yeah, I let uh, Lauren borrow my 1,000. So. Cool. They come out and hope to do a dry washing, but with all the moisture we've had here, uh, it's just too wet, so I loaned him my 1,000. That's what I found my first nugget with. So. All right. Cool. Right all right, so you ain't found nothing yet, though, huh? Just lead. Yeah, it's here. C continue on. Yep. Where are you from? Right here to meet you. I live 15 minutes from the claim. Can't beat that, huh? Nope. <laughs> I put almost 2,000 miles on my buggy coming back and forth in the last year over here. <laughs> Here's another detectorist. How you doing? Pretty good. You find any gutter? Nope, not yet. You find any junk? Yeah, quite a bit. Really? Yeah. Well, where there's junk, there's gold. What's your name? Where are you from? I'm Lauren Bostock. I'm from Oak Creek, Colorado. Oh, is that is that your brother up there? That's my dad. Oh, that's your dad. Oh, cool. What was your first name? Lauren. Okay, so he found something good, huh? I heard you found something really good. I did. Oh, that is good. You didn't find that detecting though, huh? Not detecting. It was just stepped on it. It was just laying on the ground, huh? Sweet. That's awesome, bud. Congrats, man. That's a find in itself. That is. Man, you could be famous. <laughs> well, I guess I better break out my detector and swing it for a little bit here and see if I can find a piece of gold or any trash. It's starting to hurt walking around so much. Look at that little cactus right there. You can tell that's got to be a bird hole right there. There's a bird living in there. Big old critter come flying out of there. Well, I'm not having much luck finding gold today. I think what I'll do is drive around and maybe talk to some of these other people that are up here, see what they're doing. Whoa, look what we got going on here. Holy mackerel. What are you doing, just getting dirt? Yeah. Take it back and run it later? Yeah, we're, we did a couple test pans up there. We did one and we got some color. Yeah? Both of us got some color. Nice. So, uh. Yeah, but it just we'll take this back home. Yeah. And, uh, and run it through my gold cube when I get back. Nice. All right, so you're just getting dirt. Yep, just getting dirt. Taking it home. Taking it home. The thing's noisy. Class is laying it down. Oh, that's an old Wilson Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Where are you from? I'm a Brandy. Brandy Price from South Dakota. Randy Price from South Dakota. Yep. You come a long ways. Yeah, well, down for the whole winter. Nice. About ready to head back north. And you're watching him or are you helping him? Oh no, I have my own deal. You got your own hole going on? Yeah. What's your name? Where are you from? I'm Roy. I'm from Washington. Roy from Washington. Correct. Wow, you're a long ways too. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'll let you guys get at it. I guess I'll go do some more detecting. I'm Not camp right here. This was an old mining camp. Hmm. 
cans, cans everywhere. They're scattered all over this hillside, these cans. I mean, they're everywhere. Everywhere. They worked all over through here. I don't know what this is. Part of an old stove, maybe. But, uh... Broken bottles. I would say this is definitely an old mining camp. tell there they stayed this was like more of a kitchen area this is food like the hams and that's what this stuff was this is probably like baking powder the shaker lid maybe up on top there's another one there there's another one definitely I would say this was kitchen area where maybe they fed everybody. Probably had tents right through here. All these miners worked all over through these hills here. And then they would come back here to eat. Nighttime. Yeah, all right, here's somebody down here. What are you doing down here? Oh, look at the freaking hole you got going on. Holy Hannah. Bucking out an old one. <laughs> Bringing them out of the hole and dumping them. This is the muck out of the bottom. Oh. And then so you come on down the whole sidewalls, Kalichi. What's your name? Where are you from? Mark Latham, St. George, Utah. Yoo-hoo! Yeah. God, it's windy. Not down here, huh? No. Let's just get oh, look at it. nice Kalichi. This is a conglomerate. Yeah. A conglomerate rock. And you can see where these have been ran and tumbled. Yeah. What's Maybe. that hole right there? There's a hole. Critter. Critter hole? <laughs> oh man, maybe that's where they hid a treasure at back there. They yeah, stashed maybe. their gold back there. Could be. Ooh, get back in there. I don't care. Man. All I know is you got a lot of energy. That There's keeps no the, wind down here. That keeps you busy. There's no wind down here. Well, all right, man. Good luck. I'm gonna go try to detect a little bit more. <laughs> These are those iron rocks. It's an iron rock. It's got iron in it, quartz, and whatever else. But you know, dig down for for those. You think you get a piece of gold, and it's junk. And when you're out in the desert walking around, you never know what you're going to find. Look at this. This looks like part of a wagon wheel, doesn't it? That looks like part of a wagon wheel to you. Well, you know, I've kind of driven all over the place and hunted here and hunted there and hunted over there and over there and over there and over here and just finding junk. Uh, got something interesting though I'm going to show you here in a little bit though. But, uh, you know, they say go where gold has been found before. So I think I'll go back to one of my little nugget patches I have found before and see how well, I here's do some there. Die hard. Here's a diehard prospector right here. Man, oh, this is what you're doing from that big ass hole you were digging yesterday, That's huh? That's right. A little geo sluice out in the desert running dirt. <laughs> so you're finding gold then, huh? We had that one little one. Found a nice little little piece of gold. You want to know it? Find gold. When you see it that way, you're like, ooh. Nice. Man, that's, that's not got one person sitting here shoveling. He shovels all the dirt out of there, classifies everything, hauls the buckets up here, sets everything up, starts running it through there, sitting all there just relaxing. Looking, look taters that just stand around and watching. <laughs> Saying, good job, man. And look at you. And you got, you got buckets going on over there. Ooh, man, those are big old five-gallon buckets. He's filling up. You're going to take them home and process them, huh? 12 filled. 12 of them. I'll show wow. you all the gold I found so far today. It's empty. In other words, nothing. That's deep too, huh? Wow. Gold hunter right there. Morning, Jack. Morning. 
Let's see the gold. And what? Well, you got a whole bunch of them in there? Well, I'll show you what I found. Now, let's see. You found some lead. Oh, that's your trash. Well, I only got one bottle. Oh. Oh, and there's a little piece of gold. Well, if you drop it, I'll find it again. Yeah. That's nice. That's a nice, nice, nice little piece. All right. You found it with the 6,000, huh? Yep. Hee <laughs> hee. Just about right on top. Really? I had this little dry plant. Went over it, got some static, so I kind of brushed it, and I still had a signal. I brushed it again, and it still had a signal, so I moved it out of the way and still had a signal. <laughs> wow. Almost right on There's top. There's a gold hunter right here. Oh, he's put him in a... Uh... All right, look at that. Two nice pieces. And with the gold monster. With the monster and not knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> Good job, man. Yeah, that's the first nugget with a detector, so that was fun. Well, cool. didn't find the gold that I wanted to, but hey, a couple people found some gold, and that's pretty good. At least people found gold. And I found a couple little pieces, nothing major, but hey, at least I found gold. So I was really looking forward to this push, but didn't happen. But it'll happen again. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for coming along and sharing on these adventures. Get out and create your own adventure. Remember, life is an adventure. I want to thank all you guys coming along and sharing on my adventure. So until our paths cross again, thanks for watching, everybody, and take care. Uh -huh.